So now that we have made our way through all the Buzz Lightyear prints, at least for now, we'll take a little breather. We're sticking with the space theme and we are going back to the magic of the three yard quilts. And I'm gonna do this crazy flight of fancy quilts. So flying geese, hopefully, hopefully they will be nice to me and I don't have to do with too many directional prints because that's what I seem to do with half square triangles and flying geese these days is deal with directional prints. So I'm bringing back three fabrics that you've already seen before and I'm excited to rearrange them in different ways. One you saw with tacos, one you saw with baseballs, and then one was the focal print itself. So I'm gonna start with that focal print because I had a lot of it and so I'm excited to see it come together in a different way. So let me grab that focal print first. So this was last seen and only seen in the park place quilt. So we're still sticking with space. We may be done with Buzz Lightyear for now, but we're going back to this space fabric. So this is gonna be those big blocks that are in the middle of all the flying geese. So the big rectangles. This print just did really well in that park place quilt and I had more of it so I couldn't pass it up to let it just sit to the side again. So we're gonna get to space. And so let me grab our focal print that is going to be the inside of the flying geese and some of our borders. So this fabric worked so well with the tacos. I think it's gonna work super well with the space fabric as well. The space fabric has those reds and blues and greens and everything in there. And I think this will be a, just a nice little punch of color. It's kind of that weird print that, I don't know. Um, but something about it just feels right to go with the space fabric. So between those two prints, I feel like it needs a good solid background. And that's why I picked what I did. And what I picked would be Black Kona. I had this leftover from the background, or not the background, the backing of the space quilt and the baseball quilt. So it's gonna act as our background in here and then also probably be a backing. I really liked how what I did the last space quilt, I quilted it and had that color show up in the back. Not jumping ahead, cause that'll be the next video. Just playing with ideas and so when these three all come together, I think that's gonna be super fun. So I'm excited to get this going. A little break from one thing into another. So let's gear up and start cutting to get ready for some flying geese. I think that's my main hang up is I've committed to flying geese, but this isn't directional, so let's see what happens. So it wasn't until cutting that I realized this wasn't a full yard, it was two weird pieces, but I did get enough. So because I was able to get enough, I was able to get a two and a half inch binding instead of a skinny little binding. So these are my block pieces. This one's the main block with the space. These are my half square triangles. And then I've got my skinny little inner border, an outer border, and again, my binding. So this is gonna be super fun. I'm really excited to see this come together.
So on the back of these blocks, I made sure that I pressed one third of my flying geese pairs in the opposite direction so that my middle one would nest well with my top and bottom one. So that kind of helped everything kind of go together. And now I'm just gonna put the side borders on these and then the side borders on my planet pieces and then it'll be time to turn blocks into rows. So here's one set of blocks, here's two set of blocks. So now I've got to sew them all together. And what I did is I pressed these to the red and these to the middle because these will stack on top of each other and alternate. So then hopefully, if my brain was thinking correctly, they will nest in nicely when it comes to put them into rows. So fingers crossed that works out. I'm gonna shuffle these around to make sure all my Saturns aren't in one row and that kind of thing. So. I'm gonna shuffle through those a little bit and then I'm gonna come back and sew some rows and we'll have a quilt top soon.
So here we have our final flights of fancy blasting off into outer space. And boy, did this give me a run for my money when it came to putting on the last two borders. All the black borders went on smoothly, even with Trixie's help. But when it came to these two side borders, as you saw in my recording, everything that possibly could have gone wrong might have gone wrong. Both borders were short, so I had to add a smidge to each side. And then my bobbin ran out on one once I fixed the one side. And then while I'm trying to sew and fix that, I kicked my tripod and did that and everything. And so I got that one done. I was like, okay, that's it. And then when I did the other side, my top thread ran out. So I had to change that one as well. So I guess, you know, it's one thing when you're sewing while tired, uh, when you're sewing while hot and tired is another completely different ball game. So fingers crossed that this will end up all coming out right once I quilt it. I still think this turned out super fun with the red flying geese, with the planets, all that fun stuff. Kind of gave a little bit of everything, a little bit of visual interest. So I am quite pleased with how this turned out, even though it meant more half square triangles again. So I'm gonna think about how I'm gonna quilt it. I have some ideas that I'm hoping pan out well. And in the meantime, let's take a closer look. <laughs> 